Welcome back guys. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today we're going to be doing an update video about Luck and Coffee. Before I start the video guys, please make sure to leave a like on the video below. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Join the family guys that's going on our investing journey together. So, if you guys don't know the story of Luck and Coffee, Luck and Coffee was actually a huge coffee chain that's based out of China. Doing Was doing very, very well for itself. Stock once traded at $50.00. And the company was growing like crazy. It had a lot of big time investors behind its name and stuff like that. And then Muddy Waters, who is basically was a short seller on the stock in itself, published an 89 page report that Lucking Coffee was fabricating a lot of its revenue up to 2.2 billion yuan or 210 million US dollars. And it later turned out that Lucking Coffee was indeed fabricating its sales, although we do not know the extent of the fraud itself. They have updated financials, but they have not yet been published to the public. We don't know how much was fabricated, and we don't know if the company is profitable. But overall, the stock was once trading at $50, now sitting at $2.36. And I made previous videos about Luckin Coffee before. I'm personally bullish on Luckin Coffee, and that's just due to a few reasons. One, they still have stores that are up and running. The company is still expanding. Although not as fast, the company is still expanding, and they're still doing business every single day. That means the company is still running and that's a huge important factor as to why i'm actually bullish on luck and coffee the company the, the company didn't just disappear off the face of the planet right so luck and coffee is still doing business still selling coffee still selling tea and stuff like that two the company not only has a lot of assets like stores and stuff like that they also have a decent uh, amount of cash on hand so you know luck and coffee still has the possibility to one be acquired by a different company which could be possible and two the company can also go private so that could actually help the company a lot out a lot and three the reason why i'm still bullish on luck and coffee is because overall luck and coffee is trying to work towards recovery now the biggest thing with luck and coffee is it's sweeping out its management it's still running and stuff like that so overall luck and coffee to me is an appetizing investment i know that the company committed fraud but companies can recover from fraud wells fargo still here waste management still is still here General Electric is still here. All these companies that have committed fraud are still here. So I, I'm not going to count Luckin Coffee out just yet because of fraud in itself. A huge coffee chain that's based out of China with 6,000 plus stores sitting at $2.36. To me, I think it looks like a bargain. Obviously, everything I say in my videos is not financial advice. It's just my personal opinion. But I do think Luckin Coffee is an appetizing buy because I know that Luckin Coffee could possibly recover in the long term future. I know that the the company probably won't recover in the next couple of months, maybe not even the next couple of years, but I did buy up some shares to put in my investment portfolio. And I know this stock has a lot of bulls on it. I know the stock has a lot of bears on it and that's okay. You guys don't have to agree with what I'm saying. Just know you guys don't have to agree with me. And I, I completely understand the bearish side behind Luckin Coffee. It tricked a lot of investors and it lost people a lot of money, but Luckin Coffee is working towards recovery, which is why I personally think Luckin Coffee in itself is a good buy but that's just my personal opinion i think luckin coffee can recover i think it's just going to take some time i think people are expecting too much from the company itself it does take time to actually recover from fraud they got to clean out management they got to hire new management they got to keep expanding and they got to prove to the world again that the company is worth investing in luckin coffee lo lost all of its big time investors it lost goldman sachs bank of america and all these people who believed in the company and stuff like that Got delisted from the NASDAQ stock exchange. So now Luckin Coffee currently trades over the counter. This stock has basically seen it all. And at this point, the reason why I feel like it's a good investment is because I actually don't think anything else bad can happen to Luckin Coffee except bankruptcy. So looking at it from an investment standpoint, I only see recovery from here. If the stores are up and running and the company is still growing, I only see growth from Luckin Coffee from here. I do see that the stock can possibly recover. I mean, I know it's been through a lot. I know it committed a lot of fraud and I'm still waiting on updated financials. I know they have updated financials ready to go, but they have not released them to the public just yet. I want to see if the business model is viable and I want to see if the company was making money before the fraud. I want to see if the company has what it takes to actually recover because if the company wasn't profitable, it's going to put in perspective a lot of different stuff for the actual company itself and it might make make me rethink about investing in the overall company for me i like to invest in profitable companies but since that has not been verified just yet we don't know for sure if luckin coffee is a profitable company or not company or not 
I will wait to find out and I'll keep you guys updated on when they do release the updated financials. But with that being said, guys, that's all I really have to say about the video. Let me know down in the comment section below, guys, what you personally think of Luckin' Coffee. Do you think Luckin' Coffee is a good investment or do you think Luckin' Coffee is doomed from here? Let me know, guys. I always appreciate any feedback or comments on the video. Thank you, guys. Have a great day.